hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this mtv logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance then don't forget to check out my udemy courses all links are available in the description and you can join my youtube membership as well which is motion pro and it is just for 59 rupees you will get access to new videos videos, Cinema 4D tutorials, Blender tutorials and much more about After Effects and their project files as well. And if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any much more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and we will call it as main animation as we always do. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration up to 1 minute and background color. I am going to choose black color and simply hit OK. Go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Then I am going to select my logo and I will bring this over here. Now this logo is in a PNG format and it is in black color. So I will go to the effect and presets panel and I will search for fill effect and double click to apply. And change the color of this logo to white uh, and hit OK. Then press S for scaling option and let's scale it at appropriate size somewhere around like this. Now I am going to select my pen tool. Then from here to here, I'm going to create one line and let's make this fit. Select this line and let's change the color of this one to white and let's increase the stroke to 5. Now select this and press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Then press P for position and let's change this position somewhere around over here and let's make this 650. Okay. Now select this line and hit Ctrl D, press P for position and over here in this I am going to add 200. Then again select this and hit Ctrl D, press P, again add a plus 200. Select this, hit Ctrl D, press P, again let's add plus 200 value in it. Okay, so we are going to get this kind of stuff. Now simply select all these lines and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and bring them at the top and change the color of this one to yellow then right click new and create one null object select all the yellow color layers and make it apparent with this null select this null press r for rotation and we are going to rotate it on 90 degree and then press s for scaling option unlink this and let's uh, increase the scale on this axis like that okay and let's hit U and we are going to delete this null object now as you guys can see we are getting this kind of squares uh, in between all of this so now let's select all of this and let's uh, lock this layer i'm going to select my uh, rectangle tool and i don't want any stroke so i'll delete this stroke and zoom in i'm going to create uh, from here to here i want one rectangle i mean square so let's hide this logo for now and let's try to create some shape. So I'm going to click over here and by holding shift, I'm going to create one rectangle which should come over here like that. Then press Ctrl Alt Home and let's try to bring this over here like that. Okay, now let's hit enter and let's call it as 01 and press P for position. Uh, and let's make this 750 like proper value like this. Okay over here now hit ctrl d to duplicate press p and let's try to add plus 200 in it so we can check out whether it is in proper position yes it is so hit ctrl d again press p again add uh, plus 200 hit ctrl d press p go over here again add plus 200 okay like that oops uh, i think we don't need the fourth one so let's delete it Okay, now I am going to select these two and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, not two but three and bring them at the top. Then right click new and create one null object. Select this uppermost three like 0, 4, 0, 5 and 0, 6. Make it apparent with this null. Select this null, press P and in Y position of this null, I am going to add plus 200. 
so it will come automatically downward select these uh, upper three layers and hit ctrl d and bring them at the top select this sixth fifth and fourth and let's remove this null object parenting select this null object go to the position and let's type plus five not 500 sorry plus 200 okay and let's delete this null object so now if you see over here we have this kind of squares over here nine squares okay these are gonna act like a mask to our object okay so now let's try to create logo animation first so let's enable this logo and uh, we need to create logo animation for this so, so let's try to do it we are going to create four kind of logo animations for this so press p for position create one keyframe zoom in let's go somewhere around 1.5 seconds and create another keyframe then go to the start and let's move this over here like this okay select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit u let's delete this initial keyframe and let's bring this downwards again select this hit ctrl d hit u let's delete this keyframe let's bring this over here select this hit ctrl d press p let's delete this keyframe let's move this over here okay so now as you guys can see we are getting this kind of four animations let's select two keyframe and we will hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here so obviously we are gonna get this kind of animation now i'm going to create mask for this so let's try to bring one uh, one layer to this one let's select this 31 layer and bring this over here and choose alpha mask for this 01 select this let's bring this up to two and let's choose alpha mask and let's choose i think uh, we don't need to see these layers over here so i'm going to select these shape layers i'll press f4 and i'm click on this shy option and i'll hide them okay then select this layer let's try to bring this up to four i think this one should be uh in alpha mask with this well this one should be over here choose alpha mask this one should be over here and choose alpha mask okay so if you see this now we are getting this kind of effect over here now i'm going to select this layer hit ctrl d let's try to bring this over here then select this hit ctrl d let's try to bring this over here select this third one hit ctrl d let's try to bring this over here then select this fourth one hit ctrl d let's try to bring this over here okay like this let's find this 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 and this okay let's hide this as well we don't need to see so now only the last one is remaining so select this first one hit ctrl d and let's try to bring this over here and choose alpha mask okay like that so now if you see this we are getting this kind of revealing effect over here like that okay even in that uh, what i'm gonna do i'm going to take a distance of five five frames for each and every one or uh, you can hit page down button two to three times and uh, select these layers and take a gap okay so before that i'm going to select this zero one and this mtv logo i'm going to press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this logo and zero two control shift c and pre-compose so it would be easy for us to adjust their uh, differences so i'm going to follow this procedure for all of these logos like that so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of stuff now hit page down button two to three times and adjust them accordingly okay if you want then uh, you can adjust them alternately as well i'm going to adjust it somewhere around like this okay so if you see we are gonna get this kind of stuff let's select all of this and press ctrl shift c and we are going to call it as logo reveal now uh, select this uh, hit ctrl d take a distance of five frames like that again take a distance of five frames hit ctrl d move this over here hit ctrl d move this over here okay then hit ctrl d and move this over here 
Now select this fifth layer, go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill. Select this fourth uh, fill effect. Let's call it as green. Select this, apply fill layer. Let's call it as blue. Select this second layer and apply find edge effect and double click to apply and invert it like that. And last one, we are going to choose save. Okay so if you see we are getting this kind of reveal now uh, if you want then you can decrease the gap between these layers like this and let's this keep these gaps somewhere around like this okay so if you see this now we are gonna get this kind of reveal now let's disable this shy and this is my logo reveal so let's try to bring this over here now what i'm gonna do uh, i need animation for this one so press uh, S, unlink this and let's decrease the scale. So click create one keyframe initially, go to one second, create another keyframe. Go to the start, let's make zero, uh, zero keyframe initially. Select those keyframe and hit F9. Go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift, move this handle over here like that. So we are going to get something like this. Then select this keyframe, uh, hit Ctrl C to copy, select all of this and hit Ctrl V. Then select this, press S, unlink this, create one keyframe initially. Go over here, create another keyframe. And this time uh, on this uh, over here, uh, we need to decrease this keyframe over zero. Select this and hit F9. Go to the graph, select this and move this handle over here and move this handle over here. Select this keyframe, hit Ctrl C, select this three and hit Ctrl V. So we are gonna get this kind of stuff. Okay, now take a gap of five five frames like that. And try to adjust them like this. So if you see, we are gonna get this kind of animation. And I want this logo reveal should start somewhere around at this point over here like that. Or uh, you can start it somewhere around over here like this. Okay. Then select all of this or select any one of those. Go to the select all of these layers and in search options search for stroke width. So it will give us the stroke with keyframes. Create one keyframe on each one. Like this. Then go few frame forward. Let's make this 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0 over here as well okay over here i actually i forgot to add keyframes so let's hit ctrl z go over here create one keyframe go over here let's make this value zero okay so we are getting this kind of stuff now let's select those stroke keyframes and let's hit f9 go to the graph select this zoom in shift hold move this handle over here and move this handle over here like that now uh, let's adjust this keyframe somewhere around like this. Let's take a gap between these keyframes. Like this. Okay. So now if you see we are gonna get this kind of animation and then this now right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null select this null and press s for scaling option initially it should be 120 create one keyframe and as the animation goes further i want it should be 100 and i'll hit n over here so as you guys can see along with this we are gonna get this scaling animation as well and press p for position alt click on this stopwatch and let's apply wiggle 3 comma 3 like this okay 
now after this i'm going to press uh, ctrl y to create one grayish color look not too much but a little bit only and hit ok and let's try to bring this downwards like this now select this go to the effect and presets panel and search for cc windshield effect and double click to apply so you will get some black borders on this then right click sorry uh, right click new and create one adjustment layer and go to the effect and presets panel and i want to give this animation quite a vintage look so apply noise texture uh not noise texture but noise uh, and grain effect and let's make this value 25 like this so what will happen we will get this noise effect over here like this okay then uh, i'm need this animation to be in the kind of a cartoonish look so you can apply posterize time effect as well which is this one apply and you can choose to frame rate to like 15 or something so you will get that 2d kind of look over here like that okay so you will get something like this along with that i'm going to right click new and create one adjustment layer again and this time i'm going to search for cc lens effect and double click to apply so we'll get this distorted effect and let's try to increase the size of this to somewhere around like this okay and we need to bring this downwards this effect okay like that so now if you see this animation first we will get this and then we will get this okay so this is how you can create this kind of effect over here like this so yep this is how you can create this kind of logo reveal animation inside of after effects mm -hmm.